What's up? We're back with part two on the 1957. Last part, we got the engine removed when we tried to start it, you know, we got, it was bad. You know, if you haven't watched it, go watch the part one kind of helps understand everything. We took the engine out, the engine's been at the machine shop. So this part we're going to uh, take, obviously remove the hood. What's it doing? Anyways, we're going to sand and clean up the interior or inside of the engine bay and plan is to just paint it black. And the engine's almost done, so we kind of got a crunch on that and get it painted. Um, so we can ready to just throw the motor back in and call it a day. So. I'm just gonna time lapse it, um, and that's gonna be it. So let's get to it. All right, this is kind of what we're working with the engine bay. So uh, we're gonna take this back out, um, kind of just clean everything off, take the motor mounts out. Uh, those have the uh, exhaust manifolds are gonna come out. Got some headers. We're just gonna kind of clean up as much as we can. Uh, might just uh, remove the battery tray, uh, remove all that, get it painted up. Uh, we do need new hood hinges eventually. Right now they're fine, I guess. As you can see, the spring did not fare very well. Just gonna, this is kind of before. Gonna get her, get everything removed and then start sanding uh, everything. Uh, this is the before. Can't say I'm surprised to see that. Sorry it's so loud, I got the heater going in here, but I, uh, I'm not surprised about this at all. So I'm trying really hard to get this, get this bolt out and all up there. Yeah. There's, <laughs> it's a, it's not, there's nothing left. You know how it goes with projects you're kind of just working and you're working and you're working and things escalate and uh so it went from just tearing apart the inside uh to everything coming off all right so we got one fender then we got this thing that goes on the front so there's support beam under there uh we're gonna have to get a new grill i did not do this it was already like this um Sucks. There's a rad support. Hi hey Daisy. Hi Daisy, mate. Hi. Um, the blinker thing. It's it's cracked. It sucks. We're gonna reuse it for now. There's no reason not to. So yeah, you can see the mess that is everywhere. The rat crap. So some of the fender stayed on the car. Uh, that is that is what's left of the fender. Uh, missing over there. Oh, there's a manufacturing number, that's cool. Not as bad um, on the quarter, but still pretty bad, I and mean, that's Bondo, so. And you can see where it's rusted through. Oh, that's, that's cloth right there. And so, the goal is you're gonna wire wheel everything, all of this. Wire wheel all this. Kitty, meow. So this is the whole of all the fender screws and nuts and bolts that you have to take out to take off the front clip of a Drive 5 Chevy. So that's gonna be it tonight. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna clean all that get it ready, start wire wheeling it. And same thing with the little parts, clean them all, wire wheel them all. And we're gonna go from there. So 
See you. All these little parts cleaned this floor is a disaster right now all these little parts cleaned and then next we're gonna roll this outside clean everything hose it off clean the vents out and everything now we have access to them and then get that ready for paint and then also this all needs wire wheeled and ready for paint same thing with the other fender it's hiding back there but that's kind of where we're at. Uh, it's just kind of getting ready, everything ready for paint. the pieces on the interior clean or the engine bay cleaned up so we gotta clean them up a little more hang them and get ready to paint them and then the wagon is outside uh, i was cleaning up the engine bay on it again because the next step is these fenders maybe tonight but fenders and then the engine bay we're gonna clean them up get those prior ready for paint as well so uh, just more time lapses. Let's go. painting for a little while as you can see so i'll get an update on kind of where we're at on the painting and been watching the time lapses so these panels like most of the inner engine bay area on the lower part is going to be semi-gloss as you can see and then i need to clean those up and paint these as well sim they're going to be semi-gloss the inners and then semi-gloss that's a little rusted, but um, uh, we'll just ignore that. Uh, Semi-gloss. And then this is on the firewall, uh, the vent. It's on the firewall, so the firewall and the frame and the suspension and stuff are gonna be gloss, so. Oh. Are you kidding me? Lovely. Anyways, so those are gonna be gloss, so gloss. And then this is on the front, so this is semi. This is the hood latch area. So that's the little update as we keep doing it, because I still got um, got the fan or the that thing, the uh, hood hinges, some other little brackets, and then this big piece, which is the biggest one. But I'm gonna take these down and hang it up there and paint it. So here's some of the, this is a, I like underneath the car, so I just did a gloss. That's the like shrouding around that. So gloss and gloss, because those will be on the firewall. And these are on the underside. Like this one turned out really well, you can tell. This one, not so much. 
got heavy pitting. I saw some holes through. You can see them. I mean, yeah, you can see the holes through. So it's as good as it's gonna get kind of thing. These turned out really well. Those are on the cowl. This, or not the, yeah. Uh, the radio, those are on the radiator support, sorry. This is on the bottom of the radiator support. This actually turned out really nice too. Got a little bit of heavy pitting right here. But I am happy with how that turned out. Walking over here, um, radiator support. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And then that's like the grill, like the latch and stuff. Pretty pleased with that as well. Fenders, I I think they look pretty pretty good. If I say so myself, that, that looks pretty nice. This side, pretty good as well. Not as good. See heavy pitting from the, that's where the battery tray's at. So that'll be covered up, but still. Obviously the acid and everything, and there wasn't much left of the battery tray. But I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, this car is not the best, so at least I'll have one nice part to it at least. And one like tip of advice, I don't, I mean, most people probably think about it, but just a reminder, if you ever have like nice cars, or more cars you care about um, around the area where you're painting, just throw plastic over them. I mean, this is from two days. This tarp, this tarp was like brand new, and you can—that's overspray. Like, and all of that would have been on the paint. So, just that's just something to be mindful of. It's cleaned up and go from there. Alrighty, we got the wagon in here. I'm calling this good. I'm kind of over it, honestly. I just want to get painted and uh, call it night, 3, 11 o'clock. So that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, it's all prepped and it's ready to get painted. And uh, professionally masked off the whole car. Yep. <laughs> It's done. I mean, I just rebuilt the whole front end. This looks so much better. And then we're gonna have a nice shiny motor right in the middle of that with our fenders, the flat black on the fenders, the other pieces, the flat black, and then into the gloss black. It's gonna look, it's gonna look nice. What's up? Back another day. I'm underneath the wagon right now and uh, trying to drop the gas tank. In. <laughs> God, times were different in the 70s, let's just say that. There's some things under here that are a little scary. Um, <laughs> it's definitely interesting to see how they did things back in the day, though. So let's look at this. Okay, well, starting off, of course, we have the wire around the exhaust. The whole exhaust, by the way, is wired on. There's not one actual clamp. Yeah, it's all wired. It's also hanging on the parking brake cable, which is lovely. 
Okay, next thing. This hitch. All four sketchy things, but that is, that is terrifying. I would never put a trailer behind this. Anyways, on to the next thing. We have the trailer wiring too, which isn't sketchy, but um, I am trying to drop the gas tank right now. Uh, I gotta get up to that. <laughs> oh, ain't dirt. Okay. <coughs> the next thing, look at this. So I think they put that on there so that the shock can't go any farther and it lifts up the rear end so it has a rake. It's on both of them. And on that one, you can see how far it went. And that's about the same distance. So I'm pretty sure they put that on there to lift up the rear end. And on to the next thing. Oh my gosh. We might have to get that balanced. That's that's bad. For all the people that think that this car is just like the perfect thing, which I don't think many people do. But anybody who thinks that this car is beyond not that good it's pretty bad it's saying i told you it was a hot rod back in the day i guess we're keeping the hot rod look i'm not so much for lifting the rear though i'm going to lower it so they'll sneak peek on what's in the future but i'm gonna get this gas tank dropped and see how horrendous it is Well, there you go, guys. All you have to do to take that gas tank out is drop the whole axle. Yeah, holy crap. Of course, everything's rusted absolute crap, like beyond rusted, so that took about 10 times longer than it should have. <sighs> I love old cars. And um, this is the mess of this, this. Look at this. This floor was spotless before I started, kind of. All that just to get that gas tank out. Like, look at the shape of that thing. It's a U. All right, well, there's the gas tank that we worked so hard to get out of. So the reason it's so hard is because this is the bottom. And then this is where the spare tire well is at. That's why it's so clean. And it like, it goes on top of the spare tire well pretty much. So that's why it's so hard to get out. And then when you're dropping it, you have to like angle it. And then the axle's in the way. So. I need to take the oxalate anyways, but we did it sooner than later. Alrighty, so I was out here earlier and I took the drums off of the brakes, which was not an easy task, but got it done. And I think last you saw, I got the tank out and dropped the axle. So I'm gonna drop the axle. We'll take apart the brakes, get the parking brake assembly, out of there somehow and then um take out the rest of the axle and that's my goal just to get the rest of the axle out and then we're gonna clean up underneath there and get that painted i guess so that's the goal uh, let's get to it well after blood sweat and tears just kidding uh, i got the rear axle out um as you can see the sawzall came out Somebody didn't want to play nicely, so it got cut. But this is, look at this. Every time you hit this car, just stuff falls from everywhere. Everywhere. So it's just covered, everything is covered in dirt. And then my creeper doesn't move around and mm, it's frustrating. Anyways, I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up here and gonna call it tonight. All right, we're back with another video and we're gonna be doing the suspension on the wagon. Uh, we got a disc brake kit and two inch drop spindles. And then we're also gonna be doing the rear end and pretty much dwindling our parts pile down here. It's the main goal. We're gonna do two inch drop spindles or two inch drop lowering blocks on the rear and then new brakes and seals and 
everything here. You know, transmission get painted and then all the front suspension work. Jacob, Jacob and Mason got the rear end all torn apart. It's draining. It looks pretty good. And then we're going to put the new bearings on the axles and all new brakes and everything. As you can see, got it all off. Uh, gonna take off the drums again because we got discs now. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get the bushings out. We gotta replace those, then clean up everything, paint it, and good. The frame's actually really solid though. It's about the only solid part on the car. I mean, the metal's supposed to have flimsy, but got it all prepped good enough. There's actually still factory paint underneath like the bed liner or the whatever. You got this concoction, this transmission mount. I'm just gonna paint that and call it good. But see that's a factory paint still. Just gonna call it good and get all this painted. So I'll get back with you when all of this is painted and drying. Got the frame completely painted, um, rebuilt, powder coated, lost the receipt. Looks pretty good. It's probably going to take 30 business days to dry because it's like 20 degrees in here. I'm mostly just waiting on getting all the bushings for the front end done. And then we can start assembling the front end and the rear end. We have about everything ready to be put in at least. So we can finally tackle this mountain of parts that still needs to go onto the car. There's some of the parts I got painted. Got half of the gas tank painted. That's gonna take forever to dry. Um, and then I got the rear end already done. So, right. all these parts need to go on the car still. All this needs to go on the car still. And then we have a full pile at uh, the school that also has to go on the car still. So, uh, about all the disassembling's done, so it's just time to assemble everything, which will be in a few days. All right, that's all for this video. We got. All this painted, we got chassis painted, we got tons of parts painted, we got a ton of parts you saw we gotta put on. And then next video, we're gonna be doing all the suspension to that. We'll be getting it running and driving with the motor in. But that's all for this one. Thanks, till next one.